Who is Mini Kong? We are less than a month away from the release of Godzilla vs. Kong, A New Empire, but in the trailer, details of the story, as well as the characters, have been revealed lately. In this video, we will be talking about perhaps the most striking character of this new installment, an ape who will have to continue the path of his ancestors and who may keep a secret. Today we are going to talk about Suko, the Mini Kong. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Suko's appearance in the trailer has unleashed a wave of speculation and theories. Who is this young ape, and what is his connection to Kong? At first glance, Suko shares physical characteristics with Kong, suggesting a familiar relationship or lineage. But his presence raises an even deeper question. How has this species survived apart from Kong? In the mythology of the Monsterverse, Kong has been portrayed as the last of his kind. A lone giant, in a world that no longer belongs to his own kind. He is the protector of Skull Island, and is usually surrounded by natives, never by others of his own species. Kong's story has always been one of loneliness and loss. Since his introduction in Kong Skull Island, we have seen how he lives isolated on his home island, surrounded by danger, but unaccompanied by his own people. The film paints Kong not only as a powerful being, but also as a creature with a deep sadness, carrying the burden of being the last survivor of his species. But this film will change that idea. Perhaps Kong is not as alone as we thought. The arrival of Suko changes this story because it means that Kong is not alone, that perhaps in the depths of the Hollow Earth, others of his kind have survived. This not only expands Kong's story, but adds to the lore of the Monsterverse. Now then, let's talk about Suko's role in Godzilla vs. Kong, a new empire. It could be that Suko represents a new beginning for the Kongs. His youth and energy could be the key to reviving Kong's spirit, reminding him of the home and family he once lost. But there is also the possibility that Suko carries with him secrets of his species, ancestral knowledge, or even unknown abilities that could change the course of the war between the Titans. There are several theories that propose that this ape is special, and could even be the weapon to defeat the villain. But we will talk about this villain later in the video. The relationship between Kong and Suko will undoubtedly be the emotional heart of the film. If Kong takes on the role of protector or mentor, it would not only develop his character, but also offer a new and poignant dynamic to the monsterverse. We've never seen Kong interact in this way, with another of his kind. Imagine scenes of Kong teaching Suko how to navigate this world of giants, or defending him against unimaginable threats. These moments could be some of the most memorable in the film. And Suko could become that apprentice and be left in charge of Skull Island. But it's not all hope and learning. Suko's presence could also bring conflict. How will the other Titans react to a new Kong? And what dark secrets might Suko unearth about the history of his species? One important aspect of Suko is his color, one that connects him to the villain of the film. Most likely in this story, Suko, or Mini Kong, is the son of the villain, Scar King, and like his father, he was born to be a villain, but will be positively influenced by Kong, and chooses to follow a different path. This means that Mini Kong's story could be one in which he must choose between two paths, Mini Kong or Suko. Caught between his heritage and his admiration or connection with Kong, he could be a character that symbolizes the struggle between wilderness and upbringing, between destiny and free choice, between the villain's path or the hero's journey. But if Mini Kong is the son of the villain, who is the villain? Who is this Scar King? Scar King is a new monster in Godzilla vs. Kong, a new empire. He is similar to Kong, but thinner, with a long, muscular, orangutan-like appearance, long arms and legs, and a slightly hunched back. 
He has pale skin and reddish hair except on his face, chest, and inner limbs. His eyes glow a soft shade of blue, and he wears weathered red war paint on his face and body. His roar is deep and resonant, similar to Kong's, but with a slightly lower pitch. Personality-wise, Scar King appears to be tyrannical and abusive, ruling Hollow Earth with an iron fist and showing strong contempt for humanity. He plans to conquer humans with the help of his army of great apes and his ally Shimo. In terms of skills, Scar King is agile and strong, able to leap long distances and match Kong's strength in combat. He is also proficient in the use of weapons. He wields a weapon called Whiplash, which is the spine of a titan with a jaw, and a blue crystal blade used as a whip or lasso. He is a great warrior, and it will not be easy to defeat him, neither for Kong nor for Godzilla, because he is not alone. Now, if Mini Kong is the son of Scar King, his destiny is to become the heir of the Hollow Earth, but it is possible that he wishes to live in peace, away from violence and conquest. Follow a better example. Follow Kong. The director, Adam Wingard, describes the Scar King as a large threat, representing the worst aspects of humanity, as opposed to Kong, who represents the best. According to Wingard, Scar King is the greatest challenge Godzilla and Kong have ever faced, needing to join forces to defeat him. The film delves into the origins of these titans and explores the historical battles that connect them to humanity. I think we will see how Scar King will try to conquer the outside world, while Kong and Godzilla teach Suko that there is another way, that he must not be like his father, and that they must defend humanity. This Godzilla vs. Kong movie promises to expand much more in this universe, and it is possible that from this movie will also come other spin-offs of other characters. I cannot conclude this video without commenting on one of the craziest theories of this film, and is that some fans say that Mini Kong is really the villain, Scar King, to whom something happens and is transformed in the middle of the film, or that retrospective scenes of this character are shown, since this is his history as a villain. Personally, I think Mini Kong is the son of the villain, in upcoming videos, we will be delving deeper into this universe. One that will expand even more, and it is possible that we will see Mini Kong or Suko movies in the future, as he could be the baby Yoda of this universe. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.